let's have a look at the exponent law for division. Let's do a quick recap of the division rule. So, a to the m divided by a to the n. Remember, we can always rewrite division as in a fraction form. So, a to the m over a to the n, same thing. And our rule tells us that if we are dividing the numbers, we need to subtract the exponents. So, for example, if I had p to the power of 5 divided by p to the power of 3, my rule tells me that I just say 5 minus 3 and I get p squared. So the rule is a very simple one. When you're dividing, you simply subtract the exponents. But let's just remind ourselves where that rule comes from because we shouldn't just have rules that are mysteries to us. They should make sense. So let's have a look at where this rule comes from. If we simply write out what the exponents mean, we can see where the rule originates from. p to the 5 is just 5 p's multiplied together. p cubed is just 3 p's multiplied together. Now you can see that these 3 p's at the bottom are going to take out 3 of the p's from the top. And so what are you going to be left with? Well, you've taken 3 p's from the top, so what you're going to be left with is 5 minus 3 at the top, which is 2. So you can see very easily the rule is not some mystery. It makes complete sense that when you're dividing the numbers, you subtract the exponents. Right, let's have a look at simplifying something like this. We just work one step at a time, so we're going to first simplify these numbers here. So we're going to do 8 divide by 4 now, these are plain old simple numbers. They're not exponents. So we're going back to what you did at primary school. 8 divided by 4 just gives you 2 as the answer. Next, you're going to move on to the x's. Now, here you are dealing with exponents. So you've got x to the power of 8 over x to the power of 4. You're going to apply your exponent rule for division, which is x to the 8 minus 4. And then you're going to move on to your y's. And with your y's, you've got y cubed over y. Remember that this y just means y to the power of 1. So you're going to use your rule again, which is going to be y to the 3 minus 1. And you'll get your answer 2x to the 4y squared.